Hey there, this is a video for my grade 10 MEAP students. This is the last um, lesson in chapter four, uh, where we are going to take all of the exponent laws that we now have, including the two new ones, right? This is your grade nine power laws. Actually, there is kind of one missing here. There's, they don't have that, uh, you know, that uh, a to the power of zero is equal to one. Um, and then these are the two that we've done recently. And remember that in math, the word simplify means make it as simple as possible. Um, simplified usually means, I'll put this in word, simplified usually means no negative exponents. And simplified can mean uh, that you leave uh, your powers in the simplest fractional or rational form or in simplest radical form. So simplified can mean uh, rational exponential form and it can also mean simplest radical form. So Let's start with some examples. Simplify each of the following, and again, your answer must contain only positive exponents. Okay, so m to the four times m squared is m to the six, and n squared times n to the negative three is n to the negative one, because we add the exponents, but we can only have positive exponents. So n to the negative one is like saying one over n. Now, I wouldn't call that the simplest answer because I know what m to the six times one is, right? Anything times one is just itself. So my final answer here is m to the six over n. That is the simplest answer. Let's look at b. I have a to the five divided by a to the 10, which is a to the negative five. And I have b to the three divided by b to the negative two, which is b to the three minus negative two which is b to the five. Now, that's simplified, but this isn't. So that's gonna be b to the five over a to the five. And that's my simplest form. Okay, next, I think I'll deal with the inside of the brackets first. So that's gonna be two x squared over y to the four, and that's all being cubed. That should really be one big bracket, there we go. So now I get to distribute that cube into everything. So two cubed is eight x cubed is x squared cubed is x to the 6 and y to the 4 to the 3 is y to the 12 and make sure you realize you can't simplify those two guys right Maybe they have different bases so there's no exponent law that allows you to, to simplify things that have different bases all right looking at uh, the next c apparently um, 6 and 15 both have a common factor of 3 so this is actually going to be 2 and 5 x to the four divided by x is x to the three, and y to the three divided by y squared is y to the negative five. But again, I don't want negative exponents, so that's gonna be two x cubed over five y to the five. If you don't understand why this became that, you should go back and rewatch the last video because that's what the last video's lesson was all about. And make sure you do the homework for it too. Okay, next. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. Sorry, just keeping organized here. All right, now some that have some rational exponents. All right, well, this is like saying 25 square rooted and x to the four square rooted. So that's gonna be like saying the square root of 25, which is five. And this is like saying x to the four times one half, which is four halves, which is like saying five x squared, simplified. Okay, now this is like the cube root of 27, and then that's like saying a to the three over three, b to the six over three, which is like saying three a b squared. All right, c, looking at that one. All right, so what's easier, squaring eight then cube rooting it, or cube rooting eight then squaring it? Doesn't matter, either way you get a four. But now I get x to the nine times two thirds, y six times two thirds and three goes into nine three times so that's actually four x to the six three goes into six twice and that's y to the four 
And then here, okay, for this one, I think I'm going to simplify inside the bracket and then deal with the outside of the bracket. So 16 25 doesn't have any common factors. So it's still 16 and 25. But x to the 4 minus 2 is x to the 2. And y to the 4 minus 8 is y to the um, negative uh, 4, right? 4 minus 8 is negative 4. And all this is to the negative 1 half. Okay, so one more thing to do to simplify that. I can move the y to the 4 down to the bottom because the reciprocal puts it in the denominator. Now, I think I'm going to deal with this negative first. So the negative reciprocals everything. So now this has been completely reciprocal. So I dealt with this negative. It's gone now. Right? Once, I, once you use that negative, it, it's, it's been used, it's gone. And now I'm going to take everything in here to the power of 1 half, which means I square root everything. So the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of y to the 4 is y squared, and the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of x squared is x. And that is simplified. Okay. So this is, these last three examples here is about as hard as this stuff gets. So if you can follow these, uh, then you know what you're doing. In fact, why don't you give these last two a try? and uh, see, see if you can do them. Pause the video and give them a try and see if you get what I'm gonna get. Okay, did you try them? All right, step one for me is I like to simplify what's inside the brackets first. So that's gonna be 25. That's gonna be one minus five is a to the negative four. 10 minus four is b to the six. And on the bottom I still, actually I just, I have nothing. I have a one because the four went into 100. So uh, that's to the negative three halves. On the next step, I'm going to reciprocal the things that have negative powers. Okay, on the next step, I'm going to use the negative part of the exponent, which reciprocals everything. So I now have a to the 4 over 25b to the 6. And now I am going to use the uh, distributive property that I can use distributing this power through everything in the bracket. So a to the 4 to the 3 halves is a to the 6, because that's 4 times 3 halves. 25 square rooted is 5, and then cubed is 125. And 6 times 3 halves is 2 times 3 is, no, 3 times 3 is 9. b to the 9. There we go. Okay, and the last one. Again, I'll deal with changing the inside first. That's going to be a negative 27 has nothing to combine with, so it stays there. 13 minus 4 is 9. And 1 minus 7 is negative 6. But I don't want negative exponents, so I'll change that to x to the 9 over negative 20, 20, I said, 7, y to the 6. Now I'll deal with this negative, which reciprocals everything. It doesn't change this negative, not yet anyway. So that's going to make that negative 27, y to the 6 over x to the 9 to the two-thirds. Now, I'm going to cube root everything that's in here, which would be negative 3, and then three, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then I'm going to square everything. So negative 3 squared is positive 9, so the negative ended up going away. Negative 3 squared is positive 9, and y to the 2 to the 2 is y to the 4, and y, oh wait a minute, this should be an x, not a y, that's a copy error. Sorry about that. And then x cubed squared is x to the 6. And there we go. That's about as tough as these get. If you can handle those, you should be able to handle the ones in the homework. And uh, that pretty much brings chapter 4 to a close. We still have a little uh, unit that actually isn't in the textbook that we'll be uh, attacking. We call it chapter x. Uh, it's at the end of the booklet. You could have a quick peek at it if you like, but that's what the next lesson will be. Thanks for watching. Have fun with the homework.